Hey everyone, it's Angel Dean Ellen Wells, and this is going to be a trade-off for video for anyone. Um, well, not anyone, but anyone who's living in the U.S. or possibly Canada, sorry. Um, but yeah. Um, so the rules are you must live in Canada or the U.S., as I said, mate. Like, I don't know if Canada, but yeah. But definitely the U.S. Um, fair trade, we, can, we don't have to... I don't have to, you don't have to send first, but, um, we can work out something where we can, like, trade at this, or send at the same time. <coughs> and then, um, so, yeah, I guess that's it. Oh, you must have parents' permission, or you're 18 years or older. Um, and I guess that's it. Oh, and you must make a trade response video to this video. It doesn't have to be, like, um, specifically to me, but... It has to, like, it could be a trade-off for a video for anyone, but, um, I don't know. It just, it annoys me when people, like, make a mass video for, like, someone, and then, like, like most of the trade things that I want is, like, already gone when they sent it to me. So, yeah, I just don't want that. Maybe you can set, tell me, like, which ones, like, in the message, you can tell me which ones that are not, are that are taken already so yeah and I'm only trading for one person at a time so yeah, I'm not trying to be overwhelmed with trades um, so what I'm looking for oh, and just because um, if you don't have something on this list it doesn't mean we cannot trade so it has so I'm looking for eraser clay stickers plushies squishies Game Boy games like Game Boy Game Boy Color Game Boy Advance stuff like that um, or Game Boy accessories, like this kind of Game Boy, Game Boy Advance SP. Um, clay tools, polymer clay, and miniatures. And I'm looking for a Waco erasers or any erasers whatsoever. Like it can, it doesn't have to be a Waco or Japanese or something. Um, but if they are Japanese or a Waco, please tell me. Um, yeah, it doesn't have to, yeah, it just, I don't know. Um, so I'm looking for the turtle, a polar bear, kangaroo, brown, um, or a lion, tiger, waffle cone, ice cream, macaron, birthday cake, jello dessert pear, custard dessert pear, curry, rice, sumai, which is like um, the little dim sum, and there's pink dumplings in there, um, green construction truck, red construction truck, blue train, green or or and orange train. And the pistol guns, and they're really hard. Those ones are like the rare ones, so yeah, it doesn't. If you don't have it, it doesn't matter. So, yeah. so here's just my doll, but she's not for trade. She, I'm just showing her for like. I'm gonna use her for. Um, like comparing scales, and then here is my um, a, um, chubby donut. So yeah, and it has defects like there's rips around here. And there's a rip right here, up here. Can't really see it, but there's a rip right here. And the sprinkles fell off. So yeah. Um, and then there's like an air bubble, like in here somewhere. I think it's. Yeah, it's right here. The air bubble is right here. And then on the back is just like this. It's not defected on the back. But that's it. So. Yeah. And then here are the plushies, so here's a banana plushie, a domo plushie, and this is a real domo. Like, I don't know if anyone, like, pirates them, but, yeah, it has the real domo tag and the licensing on it. Uh, yeah. It's the pink domo, and she's seven and a half inches. And here's a blue bear, the back, and he has a weird long tail. Maybe he's a mouse, I'm not really sure what he is. Um... And then here is um, my Game Boy, but this one's not for trade, it's just a game that I'm showing. And it's the Spongebob Squarepants Battle for Bikini Bottom. It's just like a puzzle adventure game, so you have to find three um, golden spatulas. And then you have, like, and throughout the whole, like, through each level. So yeah, if you want to know what kind of game, like, like, the gameplay on it, I can make you a video. Um... Oh, yeah, here's um a little piece of ribbon, and then here is um lucky star paper, and then 
Um, here are some random little miniatures. So, um, and then here, so here are like some Hello Kitty figurines. So here's um Hello Kitty, and then this is a little Hello Kitty in a stand, and um, she's wearing a construction site hat. Here's um her friend, like Hello Kitty's friend, and then here's the fridge. Like a convenience store fridge, and then it has food in there. So yeah, there's a bones, and this is pretz, colas, and hamburgers and stuff. So yeah, if you want, so you don't really have, I don't know. You can tell me if you want it fold or not. So here is a dog, miniature dog, um, a cat that I made. Here is a Toki Doki cactus pup. Yeah, it's the main one, like the first one. Bastardino, his name is, I think. Here is a Whipple bear. I rippled it on his tummy. Um, here is a ball chain. This is a one-sided blaze for, for polymer clay. Here is a little monkey. Here is a squishy dinosaur, and it's like one of those rubbery squishies. And his head's kind of like, like jiggly. Um, and then here's a um a pen which you can decorate with polymer clay. Don't know how. You open this first, and then you can decorate it. But I'm not sure if you can like bake it. Or, like, well, this is just like a test run, I guess. Um, here are my pol or here are my erasers that I'm trading. Most of these are Iwako. I'll sh tell you if they're not Iwako or not. So here is a sunfish. Here is a dolphin. Here are two shoes. These are Gomu erasers. So there's a flip flop and a high top shoe. Here is a pencil and a pencil sharpener. The pencil sharpener is in Iwako. That one is a crazy racer. Here is a miniature bento box, and it is a it's a Korean one. And this is I I don't know. This is like a perfect size for your Barbie or like a pull up doll or something. So it's, it's the perfect size. There's a meat patty and an egg on it. Then there's a um, crepe. Here are three teeth, and then there's a happy one, a sad one, and a really sad one because these two have cavities. Here's an egg, and it's pink and it's boiled. And here are three little um, miniature pencil top um, apples. And these ones are also perfect size for Barbies. See, I can sh see this is why I have her out. Um, she can, it's like the perfect size for a Barbie. Oops. Perfect size for a Barbie. So yeah, see, so these come in the set, and then last but not least is this Pokemon. Um, oops, I knocked it over. Oh yeah, I whispered it because I was trying not to yell. So. I guess that's like a route turner. Anyway, so here it is, and it's um, Monferno. It's from the Diamond and Pearl series. And, um, yeah, it's, it's one of the starters, like, the second level starters. So, there's Chimchar, Monferno, and Infernape. So, this is real on Nintendo. I'm not sure how... Oh, yeah, there's... There's licensing in the back, which you cannot see whatsoever, but there's real licensing. It says, um, this is copyright... 1992 or 1997 um nintendo slash pokemon so this is right there so, those are all the erasers um you can also look at my check out my eraser collection video if you're interested in more erasers here are some lotions and i these are never used so yeah um i just don't like lotion i guess i don't use it because i use regular aloe vera and none of these are used so here's sweet pea by bath and body works here is 
Amber Romance, um, Pure Seduction, and Love Spell. And there's also this one. It's called Vanilla Gingerbread. So yeah. Oops. These ones are just um, little, the little travel sized ones. See, it's really small. And Barbie. Um, and then last but not least, I have these um, little memo pads or like these little um, paper things. So I have well this notebook and it's a macaron notebook and here's what the pages look inside. They just look like this. They're just regular paper. They just look they look kind of pink. The macarons on the back. So this is what real macarons look like. And then there's a pencil attached to it. And I think this is so cute if you get it as a set. Because it's a really small notebook and a really small pencil. So it's a scale, like, scale thing. You can really write with it. It has, it says you